This, this, this is Money Line Mania with Jazz and the Crew. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I thought the Super Bowl was fixed. Absolutely disgusting, those referees in the fourth quarter. But Kansas City wins another one. I want to throw up. World Wide West has a smile on his face and our friend Chaz. How are you, Chaz? Everything I said happened. I hit every single one of my bets before the first half ended. So it was a surreal second half for me. But Blackhawk West spent two weeks taking everything he bet and put a little bit with a parlay with the money line. A little with the parlay with the Chiefs. So I had four plays in the first half, won all my bets before the half was over. It was wonderful. But this dude hit 43 of them. He's a lucky man. That's I don't not know. luck. 43 that was a penalty. Bets. You touch me when I can catch the ball, they're going to call that. If it's on the other side, if the ball went to the right, that play is over. It's no penalty. But the bottom line is, they're the better team. They proved it. Five years, just an incredible run. But come on, 43 tickets on one I, game? That's I, amazing. I can agree. They had not been throwing that flag for that type of situation all game. And that flag being thrown at that time probably wouldn't have been thrown earlier in the game, but it was a hole. But they were in field goal range. But that wasn't the the point. Because of the penalty, it was a first down. It took away the opportunity for the Eagles to take the ball down the field, maybe kick a field goal, maybe score a touchdown and win the game. Yes, it should have been a penalty in a regular season game, in a playoff game of that magnitude. You don't call a penalty. It didn't affect the play. Let me ask you this, though. Was it a football move? when they overturned Bolton's second touchdown of the game on the pick six? Was it a football move against the Bengals in the fourth quarter when the referee let the play go on and then after the play was dead, they called a timeout? We're talking about the Super Bowl, and that was a legitimate catch, an attempt to make a football move, and they overturned a Chiefs touchdown. However, in my defense, I had already cashed the ticket (laughs) on the first one because it was an anytime defensive touchdown, an anytime special teams touchdown. They almost had three of those. They had one called back and the punt went out at the four. That was amazing. The defense and special teams. They were winning that game regardless. If they had to kick three and give it back to Jalen Hurts with a minute and a half, the way that that team was amped up, they weren't going to score again. The better team lost, as the Eagles were the better team throughout the season. The Eagles look better most of the season, but if you look at the strength of schedule and the opponents, you just look at the quarterbacks that they played. Every time the Eagles played a quarterback that was worth anything, that quarterback hung over 30 on them. Dak Prescott hung 40. Trevor Lawrence hung 30. The Eagles did not play a very strong schedule. They're in a weak division. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. I heard that, uh, and I said, well, they're the weak division. My ass, the three of their teams are in the playoffs. The well, bottom line the is, is, if terrible. I have the ball, and I give you the ball, and you take it all the way back, and you get points, but I have the ball, but I gave you the ball, you're not going to win the NFL games. Screw the refs. The refs have nothing to do with it. You can't give the ball to the other team and let them score a touchdown. Don't blame the refs. You gave the ball to the other team. That gives them points. You can't do that. Ah, it's not fixed. Win. All the Super Bowls are fixed. To get two of them. The guy, <laughs> he doesn't know it's getting called back when he's in the end zone. I actually had that happen to me, and it really sucks. Oh, Especially if you ran like 50 yards with the ball, but you're the only one in the stadium that doesn't know it's a touchdown. It's hard to come back from that. I picked the Eagles to win. If the Eagles lost the game, I pretty much called everything that was going to happen all the way into the final play of the game. I said it was going to be a field goal that was going to win. I said that Patrick Mahomes was not really hurt that he was going to come back in the third quarter and look like nothing was wrong with his ankle. I also said that the Eagles, they were going to dominate the first half and fall apart in the second half with their defense. Anyways, are you guys ready? Weird week in sports betting, but people are making fun of football and because of Wes's CFL background, I just tag along. Now I've caught up. It's like Yoda. I'm not necessarily trying to be equal to him. I just want to be as good as him. And it just makes XFL an opportunity for us. Now, not Saturday and Sunday and maybe not week two, but by the time week three rolls around, we'll know who's coaching, who's playing. It's only eight teams too. We have experience in that small leagues, Wes. The XFL, all I'm doing is taking points. I'm not studying rosters. I'm not studying teams. I'm not betting full units. These are like quarter units, even tenth units, but I'm just taking points as many as I can. So four games this weekend, San Antonio is at home getting two and a half points. I'll probably give it a look. DC Defenders, they're at home getting one point. I'll probably give it a look. I'm probably going to let it go until we get a little bit into the first quarter. Hopefully somebody scores. Hoping the favorite scores first and St. Louis scores first. Well, then you're probably going to be able to get plus nine on San Antonio. And that's what I'm going to ride.